Monday mom motivation. Um, I have five tips for you today. And the first one is perspective. So our lives are crazy. We're not normal. We're probably not going to go back to normal. Um, this probably isn't our new normal, but our nor new normal is going to look different. So you need to get a good perspective on your situation. Find the good Find what you can change to work better in your life, but you just need to get real and look at your life and say, hey, I'm probably not going to go back to where I was, so how can I be better from here forward? So that's my number one is to change your perspective on the situation, find the good, um, choose happiness and your blessings in your life right now because there's always something good in your life that you can find. Um, maybe you lost your job, maybe um, your kids are acting up, or maybe your husband lost his job. I know that there's a lot of negative, but there is some positive that we can find and we can turn our perspective around and change how we're thinking about the situation. Maybe we lost our job, but maybe this is time that we find um, something we love to do rather than hating our job that we lost. So let's try to switch that perspective around. Number two is, so figure out who you want to be and how you want to feel. What would that woman be doing today? How would she feel? What would she be wearing? How would she be talking? How would she be eating? How would she be moving her body? Think about that. Who do you truly want to be and strive to do the actions that that woman would be doing right now. So number three kind of plays into that. Your healthy habits that are going to make you be that better you that you want to be. So the top healthy habits that I like to focus on are number one is water, getting half your body weight in ounces of water. Number two is protein getting really close to one gram per pound of lean body mass and protein. Number three is sleep, getting seven to 10 hours of sleep every single night is really important. Number four is 30 minutes of movement every single day, whether it's dancing, jumping, running, walking, working out, anything, 30 minutes of some kind of movement every day, getting vegetables and fruit in every single day, and number six, but the most important is your gratitude list. Um, and I like to say an I get to list. I like to say I get to clean the house because I have a house. Um, goes Plays into that gratitude list. I don't have to do those things. I get to. I'm grateful. I'm blessed to be able to do those things. So those are six healthy habits that you can put into your daily routine every single day. And those will help. So you can also build off of that to go with that person, that woman that you want to be. So like I said, what is she doing? What is she eating? What is she wearing? How is she moving? Think of that when you're building those healthy habits. But I like to give you those six healthy habits that you can build on top of. So something else that goes into um, healthy habits is building a daily routine and schedule that aligns with your tasks that you need to get done and your kids and your lifestyle that you can build these healthy habits into that will help you be able to look at your schedule and say, okay, I'm gonna wake up first thing, I'm going to make a cup of coffee while it's the coffee is brewing, I'm going to go brush my teeth, write my gratitude list, after I drink my coffee, I'm going to get in my 30 minutes of movement and then so forth throughout the day. So something that really helps that daily routine is getting up an hour earlier and having that hour while everyone in the house is asleep that you can really work on you and focus on you and filling your cup. So we can't pour from an empty cup. So if we keep running ourselves ragged and we don't take any time for ourselves, then we're probably not going to be able to pour into our family. We're not going to get all of our healthy habits done because we're just kind of running ourselves down. So that number three was kind of long, but have your six healthy habits Build upon those habits that go with the woman that you want to be in the future 
and um, get up an hour earlier and get your routine and schedule built out for your day and follow that schedule every single day. Don't negotiate with yourself on your healthy habits. Don't negotiate with yourself on your routine. Stick to that routine every single day. Number four of your five tips is to track your habits. So if you look on my story, you'll see a calendar, a habit calendar. Print that out so you can see, you can look at your month in front of you and really see if you're sticking to your habits. That will help you stay on track. You wanna put a big black X on the days that you've won and you've hit all those healthy habits, you've stuck to your routine. You wanna put a red circle or just a black circle, either way is fine, on the days that you didn't hit that routine, you didn't hit your healthy habits. Um, and life's gonna get in the way and that's okay. We just don't wanna have two circles in a row. So we wanna have as many X's as possible and do not allow yourself to have two circles in a row. If you have a circle one day, maybe you didn't get all your water in, then next day, tomorrow, do not allow yourself to have a circle. You win that day, you hit all of those habits, you hit your routine, and that way, that's going to help you really stick to those habits, really stick to that healthy um, routine and get you where you want to be to that woman that you decided that you want to be. And then number five, the last tip I have for you today is give grace. Life won't be perfect. Things are going to get in the way. Your kids are going to act up. They're going to, you know, make messes. Your husband's going to piss you off you're gonna get frustrated. That's life being a mom. We are gonna get frustrated. Stuff's gonna get in the way. Stuff's gonna get spilled. But just give grace where it's needed. Give yourself grace. Embrace this time that we have with our kids and really just form new habits and new routines within your family. So whatever that looks like for you, it's gonna look different for everyone else. Just strive for progress, not perfection. Let's get through this pandemic and this quarantine coming out on top. And remember that that old life you had, it's not gonna be like that anymore. This is the new. Let's progress from here and make our lives better than they were before the quarantine. So I'm rooting for you. I'm on your side, mama. I'm here if you need to talk. So just to recap over the five tips that I have for you today, number one is perspective. Change your perspective, choose joy um, in your situation. Just figure out your blessings in your situation. Number two is figure out that woman that you want to be. Figure out that mom that you want to be. Number three is healthy habits and your daily routine. Number four is track your habits somehow, whether it's in a notebook or printing off my free healthy habit calendar. Number five is give grace because life's going to get in the way and nothing is going to be perfect. So, I hope that you better yourself in this time and you reach out to me if you need help. Get in my community of other moms and other women that are on the same page as you. They're trying to make their lives healthier. They're trying to um, just build a healthy lifestyle for their family. We're all in the same boat together. My community is in Facebook. It's called MomStrong365. If you'll get in there, there's lots of women in there that just support each other and they're there for each other in times of need. So reach out, get in that group, build a community because that's another thing that's really going to help you in this time is having a community of like-minded women that are all striving for the same things. There's a book that, um, I can't remember exactly what it says, but it, it talks about your environment and surrounding yourself with people that you want to be like. So if the people in the group are striving for the same things, healthy habits, you know, trying to get, uh, lose weight or feel better or just, um, a community of women that are positive, 
being in that community, even if you're not like that yet, you will become or more of a chance to become like that because you're putting yourself in a community of people like that. You're surrounding yourself with people that you want to be like. So think about that. Get in my community. And I really hope that these five tips helped you kind of get your motivation back. Um, I, I really hate to say motivation because I always say that motivation gets you started, but your habits and your dedication keeps you going. But I do hope this sparks a fire under you and you get going, you get moving, and you better yourself and you come out of this quarantine different than when you went in in a positive way.